Was it my most rousing rendition of home yet? I think so. Oh. It was that was beautiful. It was, I, I saw the transmogrification. Yeah. I don't Thank know. you. It's, it's so fast. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, Seamless. Yeah. Yeah, you've was never it, known like, love like this before. I believe Iana Presley was because last night uh Stephanie Mills was in concert with Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan? No, just say oh. who? 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 Chaka Khan. Who? Chaka Khan. Oh, my God. You screwed this up in the first hour. Hi, Frangela. <laughs> we did not practice it at all. You, you know what, Pete Chaka Khan? You say who so that I can... Hi, Frangela. Who? <laughs> Chaka Khan. <laughs> nice. All right. We have a uh, stop hand in the middle of uh, Francis's face. Could we remove that? Thank oh, you so okay. much. Okay. There we go. Thanks very much. It's That's like a stop in the name of love. Okay, yeah. Um, Frangela, what? Where would you like to start? I mentioned. Uh, oh, well, you were. I was commenting on the uh, putting glasses on the um, cast of Deliverance in the uh, the men who what murdered Ahmad Omri. Uh, uh, yeah, not so. We see you. It's like a Clark Kent Superman thing. We see who you are. I mean, they try to prop out their racism. <laughs> Is yeah. that what they're trying yes. to do? Yes. Yeah. I'm just a mild mannered accountant from Georgia. Exactly. I'll bring their black friend with them tomorrow. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> Can I just? No, no, no. You're yeah. not going to Clark Kent no. us no. out of understanding that you chased down someone and lynched them. Yes. I don't care how many pairs of glasses you put on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I well, and I was as someone said on Twitter, it would make it look less like a lynching if you might like at least remove your Confederate flag license right. plate but i don't here's what i was saying i honestly I, I neglected to ask a legal ladder lady this this week why is it not allowed to, I, histories of social media racism and n-word how is that not relevant how is it not it. relevant that, that, that kyle rittenhouse once said of people he thought was shoplifting i wish i could shoot them how is that not why is that not let in because it's prejudicial it. yeah their bias might bias people right might actually make you think that in some crazy way, I might be racist if I frequently use the N word on Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you've been racist, you might be racist. <gasps> yes. And you know what? And let me tell you something about what the law d won't do. It won't, doesn't want to convict white males. Right. No. It's, right. It's right. What, what the law is prejudicial against, and for, actually for, not against, but for is their safety them going home them making it home safe mm -hmm. that is clear to me now what cameras have taught me in 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 the courtroom is is that our judicial system is set up the system is set up to save them but yeah. more than that they don't have to be in danger the reality is they don't have to be in any real danger. They don't even have a Kyle Rittenhouse wasn't saying until now that he was self in there. He was there to protect property that right. wasn't even his own. Right. And on top of it, what I find fascinating that is they that didn't have any permission to protect. No, nobody asked him no. to. But we owe the horror film industry a huge apology because for years Francis and I have insisted that no sane person would run towards danger. But right. apparently, that right. is the natural response of your average white racist. Well, the prosecutor, the danger. The prosecutor said this in the, 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 the Ahmaud <laughs> Arbery. It's like he was running away from you. He three times said he didn't want to talk to you. Like what? Yeah. How are you in danger if the person's running away from you? I mean, it's it's, yeah. you know, and you Kyle Rittenhouse in the back. I mean, seven it, times. It starts with Rittenhouse, <laughs> and through these two trials, it's we're okay with vigilantism, I guess. We're okay with the hunting of people. Oh. And we're okay with the hunting of the people being in our government. We're okay with them desecrating our government because the trial January 6th is going on right now, too. And, yep. and the reality is, what this is, is if you've been confused since the end of slavery, let us deconfuse you. Yeah, That's right. Here it is. Everybody can see it. Yeah. Wait, hang on a second. We, uh, Wes in Wisconsin says he grew up with Judge Schroeder and knows oh, wow. him. Uh, Wes, is that true? You know you grew up with Judge Schroeder? Well, no. Or you know um, him? I uh, no, mm -hmm. I know of defense attorneys that know him. Okay, 
close so, enough. <laughs> um, but close enough for a random is. phone call. Go ahead. And, and I'm not a ghost star, so <laughs> right. Okay. Well, you'll be the first one this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, but there's been a lot of speculation about this judge, and from what I hear from my defense attorney friends, is basically he's been like this all the time. The so I mean, at, I'm more concerned if there is a Trump supporter in the jury that is going to basically just say no to all the uh, charges, and right. you get a hung jury, and and then that it is possible um, that he may declare a mistrial. But he has had cases before where there was a murder and he sentenced the person to life. So it, it, yeah. it's really hard to say what he might do. Uh, I'm actually more concerned about the fact that militias are illegal in every state, but nobody is arresting people for participating in them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Judge Onion Belt, as we call him. What was his little story yesterday? Oh, did you see this thing? So NBC yeah. News issued a statement there was an individual stopped by police near a bus transporting the jurors it was a freelancer who received a traffic uh, citation while the traffic violation took place near the jury van the freelancer never contacted or intended to contact the jurors during deliberations never photographed or intended to photograph them uh we regret the incident we'll cooperate fully so i think the judge has heard listened to the Yes. coverage on msnbc like joy reed yes. and others is like i i don't want anyone from msnbc in here this is i have instructed that no one from msnbc news will be permitted in this building for the duration of this trial uh, this is a very serious matter and i don't know what the ultimate truth of it is but absolutely it, it would go without much thinking that someone who is following a the jury bus, uh, that is a very, ex- it's extremely serious matter. Yeah, not, I mean, more serious than obviously murdering two people in cold blood, obviously. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Or carrying an illegal AR-15. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. The most serious thing that's happened thus far is some freelance journalists being in the area of the jury van. You're absolutely yeah. right. That's dangerous. <laughs> that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Um, Let me tell you, I'm about to run for judge against this fool. And I think I can win from here in California. <laughs> yeah, well, Let's do that's it. my issue. Yeah, yes, you can, Angela. Yes, you do can. This. Mm-hmm. Do it. Because what? everybody in Oshka, in, in, uh, in, in, in Wisconsin, looking at that judge, you have got to get this man off the yeah. bench. Yeah. He's, He's run like- unopposed. Three, yeah, two, he ran on a post. Let's roll out for An- Judge Angela V. Shelton. Yeah. Of the, well, now the Wisconsin Sheltons. Whatever. Just tell your family to move move there. We can zoom it all. Do I really need to be there? No, it's the A. We'll zoom it in. Um, By the way, our favorite lawyer is the QAnon shaman's lawyer. Did you? (laughs) He asked what he would say to Donald Trump, and he would say, you've got a few things to do, including clearing this mess up and taking care of a lot of the jackasses you f***ed up because of January 6th. Dear, he's... Quite outspoken. He works yes, quite blue. He does. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah, in May, he said all the January 6th defendants are all short bus people. These people, these are people with brain damage. They're retarded. They're on the damn spectrum. That's their yeah. lawyer. That's their lawyer. Uh-huh. He's the lawyer for the <laughs> yeah. QAnon shop. Yeah. yeah. When you commit an act of insurrection, and um, I think it might be hard to find effective legal counsel. <laughs> Like, and I think that what he found was the person, who, and I'm willing that this lawyer called them, yeah. because I don't think you go looking for this. Yeah. <laughs> so, Frangela, are you at all, are you a little hopeful about the Rittenhouse thing? I know, of course, Ellie Mistal was on here two weeks ago going, white boy, going to walk. Everybody just get used to it. But mm-hmm. I, I got to say, you know, even them saying, you know, they're asking to see back the all the video, you know, it made a lot of experts say, I think they are considering which charges. I mean, I I don't know. What do you think? Well, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Dare we I, hope that yeah, yeah justice might I, be. I have to hope that at the very least, while I don't have a lot of confidence in where we are in this country in terms of equality, you know, mm-hmm. um, I at this moment, I what I do have to hope is that those people are asking themselves, saying themselves, because this is their community, right? Do we want Vigilantes. children running around with children? Yeah. running around with guns deciding who and who can't live do we yeah. want that and yes in this case there were black allies however you may feel about that that these were white people 
<laughs> okay? Yeah. These were white people that he killed. And so that I'm hoping that there's something in these people's minds that goes, yeah, well, they may or may not agree with Black Lives Matter. They may or may yeah. not agree with Trump or whatever. They say to themselves, what we don't want is if I go home and I look at my 15-year-old, I'm like, do I really want him running around with a her running around making decisions? I won't let them have the car.